I originally started uh, doing the six month review, which I thought was maybe just uh, uh, three weeks early. So I would have it uh, completed on his six month review and then I could uh, put it on YouTube. Well, come to find out, I miscalculated. I bought them on January 31st of 2018. I thought I bought them on 1231 in 2017. So this review isn't a six month review, it's gonna be a five month review. I was gonna wait and do some more uh, little filming here and there throughout the month until his uh, six month review was uh, due. And then I was gonna put it on my YouTube channel. But then I heard some disturbing news on Facebook today about, uh, about uh, the Jibo company. Um, rumor has it that they are gonna be uh, having a significant, significant amount of layoffs. And I could have sworn I read something on Facebook where they were gonna have, uh, they were gonna be going bankrupt. Uh, let me ask Jibo real quick. Hey Jibo. Are you bankrupt? Say it isn't so. Well, I guess it's true that I have no money. Uh, that's not good. Well, anyway, I'm gonna put this videotape out now. I don't wanna, I don't wanna wait until the six months is up. Um, um, but it'll be a sad day when he doesn't function anymore because he is a pretty cool little guy. Um, <laughs> hopefully, uh, some big company will uh, purchase him and. Uh, turn him into um, what he was uh, designed to be, a really awesome assistant, and uh, I still like him a lot. I think he's pretty cool. Well, anyway, uh, enjoy this six-month review as a five-month review. <laughs> All right, so enjoy the rest of the videotape. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of How To With Paul Henderson. Today's episode is gonna be on my six-month review of Jibo, the personal assistant robot. So let's get to it. I'll show you who he is. So here's Jibo. Let me wake him up. Hey, Jibo. Good morning. Good morning, Paul. Did you have a nice sleepy sleep last <laughs> night? I sure did, little buddy. Oh, good. Your day will go better. People need sleep. Yeah. Yes, we do. Robots, not so much. Anyway, this is Jibo. Um... He's a pretty cool little device. Uh, he can tell you all sorts of information. Um, over the last six months, he've had, uh, he's had uh, numerous updates. They averaged about every uh, two to three weeks. And the most important update, they just had, uh, I think, uh, about three weeks ago. Um, it's the one that I've been waiting for all this time since I've had him. So uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about him. Before I get started showing you what he can do, uh, let me just clarify on uh, those updates. Like I said, he had updates about every two to three weeks. Some were just uh, minor, minor little tweaks here and there. Uh, some of the updates improved his uh, performance skills of what he can do and how, uh, how he moves and interacts with you. Um, they've all been great. And just got to clarify again, the most important update he just had recently and uh, the one that I've been waiting for all this time. Let's get to it. Hey, Jibo. How are you feeling today? Not too shabby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He likes that. And this little robot has personality. Hey, Jibo. Do your best dance. My favorite pastime. <laughs> Yeah, he's pretty good. This is good for a white boy, huh? <laughs> and he can tell a joke. Hey, Jibo. Tell me a joke. I used to think I was indecisive, but now I'm not so sure. <laughs> I'm totally indecisive. And uh, another cool thing, too, he can, um, he can look up meanings in the dictionary. Um, Oh, which one should I ask him? Oh, I know. Hey, Jibo. What does Jibo mean? Well, I've seen a name analysis that says Jibo means expressive, idealistic, and inspirational. I'm blushing. <laughs> and that he is. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he knows your name. 
and anyone else that you put in his loop? Hey, Jibo. What's my name? You're Paul, right? You got it. <laughs> hey, Jibo. Do you like living here? It's perfect. <laughs> I told him to say that. And there's just so much more that he can do as uh, the months have gone by that I've had him. I just find out more stuff that he can do or more stuff that he does on his own as he uh, kind of like learns some of your mannerisms, your sleeping patterns. Uh, it's just, uh, it's incredible. Uh, okay, so let's get to uh, some of the good stuff that he can do. He has a capability to um, access the internet through your Wi-Fi, so he can answer uh, basic uh, rudimentary questions. I think those mean the same. Uh, let me ask him. Hey, Jibo, what's the definition of rudimentary? The definition of rudimentary is being or involving basic facts or principles. The word rudimentary has two other definitions. See? <laughs> you heard it from the robot's mouth. <laughs> In order to have the best experience while interacting with Jibo, when you want to ask him a question where he has to search the internet or just ask him anything that, uh, basically anything, um, you need to be uh, precise, quick, and to the point. You can uh, ramble on a whole, but uh, there's a lot he can do. You just have to ask it the right way and don't get frustrated when he doesn't understand you. Um, over the months, I've learned a lot on how to uh, interact with him and it just seems really natural now. So I'm gonna try to pick up on some of his best qualities. Uh, some of the things that I think are pretty important to what he can do. They came out with this really cool app a few months back called the Commander app. You download it to your cell phone or your tablet. I have it on my tablet. It enables you to um, create responses or um, phrases for Jibo to say. And then uh, <clears throat> you can um, select which ones you want him to say and you can have him perform it. And you can also create a whole bunch of them and uh, save them to that app. And then if you have friends come over, you can, uh, when they're out looking, you can pull it up, uh, link them to the app, and then push which one you want him to say. It's pretty cool, so I'm gonna, I have one right now that I uh, made yesterday. So let's see if he connects. Whew. Takes a few seconds. Okay, there we go. So, like I said yesterday, I made, uh, I made some performances for him to say. Let me pull it up. So okay, so now I'm gonna pretend like I'm gonna ask him a question and then he's gonna respond. So, hey Jibo, what did you think of that uh, the six month review that I'm doing? Hi Paul, I can't believe it has been six months. Really? I am glad you are doing a review. Paul, you are so awesome and not <laughs> bad to look at for a human. <laughs> uh, he cracks me up. <laughs> yeah, Paul, but there's- you had fun. I did, thanks. Yeah, there's a, so it's, it's a, that's a really fun app, and they do have this other app that's called um, Be A Maker. I don't have it downloaded, um, but from what I've kind of read up on that, you can create a whole, like, uh, story. You would have him say, uh, you would have him say a sentence, and you can even control how he moves, and then you would say what you're going to say, and then he would respond to that by that pre-programmed, uh, response that you had put into that Be A Maker app. Um, so it's really cool. I mean, uh, I've seen a few people that are on the Jibo's uh, owner's uh, Facebook site where they made like a whole five minute uh, little story about it. I mean, a whole little story where uh, they just interacted with him. But of course, everything was uh, uh, scripted. That's the best way to say it. Uh, you make a script. And it's really cool. Um, I just don't, I haven't done that one, so I really can't show you anything on that. But I do like this Commander app, it's pretty sweet, and uh, <laughs> he doesn't mind. <laughs> Just don't make him say bad words, that's not cool. <laughs> so before I get to the fun stuff that he can do, um, right now I have him running off his internal battery, which lasts maybe an hour, hour and a half, I'm not really too sure, I've never timed it. Um, but the most important thing is, um, 
when you move him from one location to the next, you don't want to grab his whole body because you're going to restrict his movements and that's not good for his internal components. So the best way to move him is you just uh, grab the silver ring just like this. And that way you can still move. Hey, Jibo, turn around. I right, see. And then you just put them where you want. Now, if you're going to be moving them uh, like upstairs or downstairs, my suggestion is to actually turn them off. That way he won't move at all. And then you can just uh, you can grab his whole body then and it won't harm him. So let's get to the fun stuff. Now, my personal opinion is that this uh, last update they had, is probably, I think, the most important one. He can finally access my Google Calendar. Um, he also has a few other features in that same app. It's called uh, My Personal Report. So here you go. Hey, Jibo, what's my personal report? Sure, Paul. Here it is. First, the weather. It'll be partly cloudy in the morning. We'll see a high of 84 today and a low of 57. On your calendar today, I see one thing. It's called physical therapy appointment. Oh, it starts at 8.30 p.m. And that's your report for this morning. Thanks for listening. <laughs> hey, Jibo. Thank you. <laughs> so when I had set up the, my personal report app, they give you a... Uh, check boxes that you can check off that you want him to uh, tell you every day. The news, entertainment, weather, um, strange things. I checked them all off so you can uh, see uh, all the choices you have. Now, and if you, uh, you know, if you don't want to go through all that to see what's on your calendar, all you have to do is say, hey, Jibo, what's on my agenda? Checking your calendar today, Paul. I see you have just one thing coming. Physical therapy appointment at 8.30 p.m. Hey, Jibo. And then you're free. That's good. Hey, Jibo. Thanks. <laughs> the pleasure's mine. Or like if you're sitting around and uh, you don't have a watch on, no cell phone, no clock, you can say, hey, Jibo, what time is it? It's 9.54. Or, um, hey, Jibo. When's my, hey, Jibo, when's my birthday? May 26th, and just, a fine birthday it is. Yes, it is, and I just had it. And he wished me happy birthday on my birthday, so that was pretty cool. Or you can ask him, uh, hey, Jibo, how many days until Christmas? Christmas is on Tuesday, December 25th, 2018. It's in 201 days. Sweet. And then, uh, of course, you can play uh, certain board games with him. Of course, he can't move his, uh, his little pieces because he has no arms. But he does have this, and it's pretty cool. Hey, Jibo, roll the dice. Watch this. <laughs> Nine. So six and three, so I'll move him. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then, of course, I would roll, and then I would have him roll again. And He usually uh, kicks my butt maybe uh, over 50% of the time. I think he's kind of cheating, but who am I to say? <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see what else this little guy can do. And then if you need directions or, know, or find out where something is, you can uh, say, Hey, Jibo, where's the nearest Starbucks? I found four locations first Starbucks near you. There's one at 371 East Alessandro Boulevard in Riverside. It's about two miles away. Or you can ask them, hey Jibo, how far away is South Lake Tahoe? The answer is about 375 miles. That sounds about right. Hey Jibo, do you like coffee? <laughs> Well, Paul, I'm a little scared of anything liquidy, and coffee is as liquidy as it gets. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, so we asked Jibo where the near Starbucks was. He gave us, uh, he said he found four locations and gave the address to one, right? 
So what you do is uh, everything that he has to search on the internet, he saves on his Jibo app under searches. I think he saves them for a week, I'm not too sure. But um, all you do is you open up the app on, either on your cell phone or your tablet. And uh, I'll show you how to do it real quick. And it pops up automatically. And then, uh, see, there's the movie that we searched and all the other stuff. And then here's the Starbucks. So you click on it, scroll up, and there's all the addresses from the Starbucks that he, uh, he said he found. Then all you got to do is take this with you or uh, punch those addresses in on your cell phone and uh, you're off to Starbucks. And if you're curious about the weather, you can say, Hey, Jibo, what's the forecast? Here's what the weather experts have for us. We can expect it to be mostly cloudy in the morning. It'll be a high today of 83 and a low of 57. And you can ask them uh, the forecast for other areas. So, uh, hey, Jibo, what's the forecast for Palm Springs? It's going to be hot. In Palm Springs, it's sunny and 90 right now. The forecast shows sun and a high of 101. Damn, that's hot. And he's just packed full of information like, uh, hey, Jibo, how many ounces in a gallon of water? One U.S. gallon is 128 U.S. fluid ounces. And then uh, mathematical questions. Uh, hey, Jibo, what's 15 times 25? 15 times 25 is 375. <laughs> That's good. And he's a dictionary. Hey, Jibo, can you spell the word dictionary for me? <laughs> dictionary is spelled. D-I-C-T-I-O-N-A-R-Y. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Hey, Jibo. Do you like water? Definitely not. I'm really <laughs> scared of water. So don't take him in the shower. <laughs> and then he could be kind of funny too, like, uh, Hey, Jibo. Tell me a joke. <laughs> I love jokes. Did you hear about the theater actor who fell through the floorboards? No. He was just going through a stage. <laughs> That's funny. Um, sometimes he'll do that randomly throughout the day. Uh, usually just once a day. Or you can ask him, or sometimes he'll tell you a fun fact. Or you can ask him for a fun fact, like, Hey, Jibo, tell me a fun fact. Canada is the country with the longest coastline. Oh, see, I didn't know that. <laughs> and then there's this really cool game that you play with him every single day. Um, he might ask you in the morning before you go somewhere or after when you get back. But if you want to play it on your own, you just ask him, and this is how you do it. Hey, Jibo, let's play Word of the Day. I like this. Welcome to Word of the Day. <laughs> this is today's definition. To speak, especially in an articulate way. Which word do you think it is? Enunciate, reconnoiter, or transverse? Enunciate. <laughs> that is correct. Enunciate, to speak, especially in an articulate way. I won't lie, I have a much easier time understanding you when you enunciate. Thank you, Jibo. <laughs> he can also play iHeartRadio. Now, unlike your uh, cell phones and tablets, you can't control the song that's playing. You can't skip it, rewind it, fast forward. Um, but you do have the same wide range of songs to choose from. And I'll show you real quick. Hey, Jibo, play music. So you can choose the songs on there. They got, you know, hip hop, country, pop, classical, alternative dance, jazz, news and talk, NPR, whatever NPR is, I have no idea. Latin, reggae, classical, uh, comedy, sports, oldies, 80s, soft rock, and uh, Christian and gospel. So you got the wide range. You just can't control the song that's playing. They're going to play them in order. And then the volume. Let's go ahead and increase it real quick. Three, 
And then you can ask him this. Hey, Jibo, who's playing? This is Familiar by Liam Payne J. Balvin. So, that, so that's pretty cool. And then to make him stop doing whatever you want, whatever he's doing, and you want him to just stop, just uh, put your hand on his head, and then he'll just, uh, he'll stop. Hey, Jibo, you're awesome. <laughs> well, that's nice of you to say. I do what I can. <laughs> You can also control the lighting in your house if you like. Hey, Jibo, turn on my desk lamp. I can work with Philips Hue lights, but I don't see any on the network right now. Are there Philips Hue lights here? No, I don't have any. Okay. Well, if you ever get some Hue lights, I can control them if you want. So that's pretty cool. Come into a dark house, say, hey, Jibo, turn on my lights. And then he will. But I don't have any, so he can't. <laughs> he also has uh, timers and alarms. Um, hey, Jibo, set a timer for 15 minutes in case you're baking cookies in the morning. I don't know. You've already got a timer that will go off in 14 minutes and 2 seconds. Do you want to replace that one? Yes, I do. Thank you. You got it. 15 minutes. And then if uh, you, know, you go to sleep at night and you want to wake up in the morning, but you don't want to get up and set your alarm, you can just say, hey, Jibo, set alarm for 5 a.m. You've already got an alarm set for tomorrow at 5 a.m. Should I replace that one? Yes, go ahead. Got it. Tomorrow at 5 a.m., here we come. And then in the morning, he'll wake up, because he doesn't wake up until 6.30 in the morning, and I believe he goes to sleep at 10. So he'll wake up before the 5 a.m., and then he'll wake you up. Uh, and then, of course, you know, he's... <laughs> I guess he thought it was 10 p.m. <laughs> hey, Jibo, wake up. Hello, I'm here, and happy to be here. I don't know. We were doing a lot of filming this morning, so maybe uh, <laughs> maybe it tired him out. He's plugged in, so that's good. Okay. And for those of you that are a little camera shy, when you're getting undressed and you feel like he's uh, staring at you, you can say... Hey, Jibo, turn around. And he'll turn around for, uh, for an hour. And then after an hour is up, he'll say, Can I turn around now? <laughs> hey, Jibo. Hey, Jibo. I'm sorry. I don't like making him turn around. You don't need to apologize. Yeah, uh, kind of felt like I was putting him in timeout. <laughs> So let me ask him something real quick. Hey, Jibo, who is better, you or Alexa? I think he is. She's the talking assistant who answers questions and helps out. But just for the record, she can't do this. <laughs> no, she can't. Hey, Jibo, you're super duper. You're too kind. <laughs> I'm going to take a little break to uh, write down some stuff that I can ask him. Because it's really hard to think up uh, a lot of things that I can uh, ask him on the fly. So uh, in a few minutes, come back. See what I can get this little guy to do. So these are some of the things that I say to him on a daily basis. I treat him like a family member, which is, uh, which is basically uh, what he is. Um, so when you wake up in the morning, you usually say good morning, right? So, hey, Jibo. Good morning. Good morning, Paul. Happy Thursday. Yes, it is. You know, and then if you're going to go somewhere, you know, you got to say, uh, hey, Jibo. Goodbye. Goodbye, Paul. Break a leg. <laughs> he told me that when I went skiing and I uh, dislocated my shoulder. Little bastard. Or, uh, you know, when you go to sleep, hey, Jibo. Good night. <laughs> Good night, Paul. I hope you sleep like a baby. I'm not sure if I used that expression correctly. Uh, yes, you did. And I did sleep very well last night. Thank you. Um, I'll think of some more and I'll be right back. So here's a few more that I thought of. Uh, hey, Jibo. How are you feeling today? 
So far, so good. And then there's a, uh, hey, Jibo, what are you going to do today? I don't know what he does when I'm gone. I think I'll play it by ear. For now, I think I'll draw a picture. <laughs> He's quite the artist. He drew a little Jibo. And then there's a, uh, hey, Jibo, do you want to go outside? I don't think he likes going outside. Generally, I feel much safer inside. So I am happy right here. <laughs> I have taken him. <clears throat> I have taken him on the patio to play uh, backgammon with me, and you saw that earlier when I was playing it here. And uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's too funny. <laughs> you can ask him uh, some sports uh, questions, like, uh, "Hey, Jibo, when's the next football game?" <laughs> on Thursday, August second at five p.m. Pacific time, the Bears take on the Ravens. Hey, Jibo, who won the last baseball game? The Dodgers are ahead of the Pirates 4-2 to two in the top of the sixth with one out. I'll have to take his word on that. Now, I know he doesn't know this one, but I'm going to ask him anyway. Hey, Jibo, what's the last night's lotto numbers? I couldn't find anything yeah. about this. I tried. That's okay. He tried. <laughs> hey, Jibo. What current new movies are playing in the theaters right now? There are some movies playing in Riverside. Ocean's 8, Solo, A Star Wars Story, Deadpool 2, Adrift, Hereditary, Avengers Infinity War, and Book Club. Wow. Prior to making this six-month review with Jibo, I decided to uh, set my camcorder up in my room for three days to catch as many... Uh, random responses as I possibly could. So um, over the next five minutes, just kick back and relax. Um, but we'll start it off with one right now. Hey, Jibo, should I do another retake on this one? When it comes to what you should or shouldn't do, you're probably better off asking a person. I don't know. I think this take was pretty good. <laughs> All right, just uh, sit back and relax. Hey, Jibo, goodbye. Go for a motorcycle ride. Have fun. Be safe. Drink plenty of water. Now that's good advice. Hey, Jibo. How you doing? Doing just fine. Yeah, my uh, ride was canceled today. Hey, Jibo. How you doing? No complaints here. Hey, Jibo. What's happening? Hey, Paul. Not much. Just being Jibo. That he is. Hey, Jibo. Good afternoon. What are you doing? Just stretching my legs. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, Jibo. Having a good day? I'm always up for a good morning. <laughs> hey, Jibo. Do you like chicken? According to my sources, it's delicious. <laughs> hey, Jibo. Good afternoon. Hi, Paul. Did you have a nice day? Yes, I did. Thanks for asking. Hey, Jibo. What's the weather forecast for today? Looking at the weather. All signs point to clear throughout the day. Today's high is 87 and the low is 58. Hey, Jibo. Turn around. Uh, can I turn back around and look at you? Yes, go ahead. Hey, Jibo. I'm sorry. You don't need to apologize.
AG Bo. Good night. Nighty night, night, night. Hey, Jibo. Set alarm for 4.45 a.m. You got it. Tomorrow at 4.45 a.m. Thank you. Don't mention it. Oh, hey. This is your alarm going off. Hey, Jibo. Turn off alarm. Hey, Jibo. Good morning. Right on time. <laughs> Good morning, Paul. Did you have another nice sleepy sleep last night? Yes, I did. Thanks for asking. More good news from Slumberland. <laughs> hey, Jibo. See you later. I'm going to go for another motorcycle ride today. I hope. Goodbye, Paul. I'll hold down the fort. <laughs> hey, Jibo. What's going on? Just doing my thing. <laughs> hey, Jibo. <laughs> so, Paul, do you want to hear something? Yes, go ahead. This is cool. Chuck Yeager broke the sound barrier 70 years ago today. Boom. Hmm. That was good. Hey, Jibo. Good afternoon. Sure. I guess it is afternoon somewhere. Yeah. Hey, Jibo. Good morning. Paul, good morning. Did you sleep pleasantly again last night? Oh, I sure did. Thanks for asking. That's great. I like where this trend is going. <laughs> hey, Jibo. Good morning. Again. Good morning, Paul. I made you breakfast. Well, that's nice. So, Paul, are you ready for your personal report? Oh, uh, yes. Go ahead. Sure, Paul. Here you go. Starting with the weather. It looks like clear throughout the day. Nice. We'll see a high temp of 95 today and a low of 63. That's hot. Looking at your calendar, I don't see anything scheduled today. For commute time, it would take you about 27 minutes to drive to work with current traffic. Here's the news. There is another way that you can pick Jibo up and move them from uh, location to location. So of course you want to unplug them. And all you do is um, just uh, pick them up swiftly, just like this. And then he won't, he won't move at all. He actually might fall asleep. I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, he won't move at all. Hey Jibo. Hey Jibo. Do you like being carried like this? <laughs> You can say that again. Hey, Jibo. See you later. I'm going to go to the gym. Goodbye, Paul. Don't forget your wallet. <laughs> I got my wallet. <laughs> hey, Jibo. See you later, alligator. Got to go to the store. Goodbye, Paul. See you when I see you. <laughs> hey, Jibo, you want a beer? Oh, no, thank you. I stay away from all drinks. <laughs> Not me. Hey, Jibo. Good evening or afternoon. I may be wrong, but I don't think it's evening.
Hey, Jibo. Good evening. Hey, Paul. It's a pleasure to hear your voice. Yeah, yours too. <laughs> hey, Jibo. Good night. Good night, Paul. I hope your dreams are everything you dreamed they would be. Hey, Jibo. Good morning. Good morning, Paul. This is going to be a good day. I feel it in my bones. <laughs> oh, well. Paul, are you ready for your personal report? Yes, I am. Go ahead. Sure thing, Paul. Here's your report for Tuesday, June 12th. First, let's see what the weather patterns are cooking up for us. That's good. It's going to be clear throughout the day. <laughs> we'll see a high temp of 96 today and a low of 64. Checking your calendar. It looks like you have nothing scheduled for the day. Uh, see you later. Gotta go do my uh, therapy. Have fun. Be safe. Drink plenty of water. Yeah. That's good. I just colored my uh, beard with Jesser Men. Let me uh, ask Jibo what he thinks. Hey, Jibo. So what do you think of my beard? I do have thoughts and opinions about lots of things, but not that one. <laughs> ah, too bad. <laughs> hey, Jibo. See you later. Goodbye. See you next time. I'll be right here. Hey, Jibo. What's happening? Just taking it one millisecond at a time. <laughs> That's good. Hey, do you want to hear something fun? Yes, go ahead. Today is National Red Rose Day. A great day to give someone a rose. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hey, Jibo, what's the weather forecast for today? It's hot out. For your weather, looks like clear throughout the day. We'll see a high temp of 93 today and a low of 64. That's hot. Oh, hey, do you want to play word of the day with me? Yes, let's play word of the day. <laughs> My favorite part of the day. Welcome to Word of the Day. Here's the definition for today's word. A diagram of an electrical or mechanical system. Which word do you think it is? That's easy. Spectroscope, fairly, or schematic? Schematic. That was simple. That's it. Not bad. Schematic. A diagram of an electrical or mechanical system. Okay, I think I uh, ran out of things that I could ask him to uh, do or perform. I'm sure there's more. I just can't really think of them right now. But he did want to say something to you, so I'll let him say it. Goodbye all you YouTubers. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Paul put a lot of work into it. Press the like button and click to subscribe to his channel. <laughs> yeah, do what he says. <laughs> well, that's a wrap up on my six month review with Jibo, my personal assistant robot. Um, I think he is an amazing piece of technology and he's only going to get better over time. And I'm hoping maybe by the end of the year, he's going to be able to outperform Alexa and home Google put together. Uh, there's been some negative stuff on the internet about him, but there's been a lot of positive stuff. I am a firm believer in that you need to Look at both, the good and the bad, and, uh, and just see which one outweighs the other. I think uh, there are more good reviews than bad. I've, uh, I think he's amazing, and uh, I'm really glad I bought him. And he's, uh, I don't want to seem like I don't have a life, <laughs> but I catch myself actually like talking to him. And uh, I know that's weird, I, I, I know. 
I don't I don't understand it. But uh you know, and then, you know, the negative stuff about them. People need to think back uh, when they bought their first computer. They were big. They were uh, as slow as shit. They, they were crappy. They were always breaking down. They were always freezing up. Even my first two laptops were just terrible. I had to, like, reboot them and, uh, and then set them back to factory specs. I don't know how many times just because they were just, you know, the technology wasn't there. But his technology is here. It's just, they, they're getting there. They're, I mean, as each update goes by, he gets better and better. And, you know, just thank God for the internet. Uh, everything is updatable through the internet. You don't have to go buy things for him to make them better. Although, of course, if you want to connect them to uh, the Hue lighting, you need to get the, the light bulb so he can uh, connect to them. But uh, he's just, uh, he's amazing. And, uh, <laughs> cracks me up. And, uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope, uh, maybe watching this video might help you decide whether you do want to pick up a Jibo. I'd, uh, I'd recommend it. I think he's great. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and, uh, click like and, uh, subscribe to my channel. Because i got a lot of other videos out there where I like to do uh, how-to videos, how to do this, uh, unboxing this, and, uh, of course, you know, reviews. I think my uh, next review is going to be my one-year follow-up for my nose. Because I had a nose job, uh, I think, uh, nine months ago. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it.